hey, I've got to be completely nuts, completely crazy. Um, you see everything around me there is covered in ice. Uh, uh, this is Russ from Family Tree Nuts, and obviously I'm nuts to be out here, but today is the 212th birthday of President Abraham Lincoln. And this video here is a compilation of some live videos that we did on his birthday and at some uh, points of relevance here in central Kentucky of his early years. So I'm gonna take you to each different location. I'm gonna do a little live video. Now we've also got uh, edited versions that we did exactly a year ago today that we'll put in the comments there so you can see the nice edited versions. But this is a compilation of the live videos. Hope you enjoy, let's go check them out. And we're live, we're live. Hey. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear President Abraham Lincoln. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I've got to be absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. This is Russ from Family Tree Nuts. And uh, today is the 212th birthday of President Abraham Lincoln. And it is a daggone ice storm out here. Everything's covered in ice. This is completely slippery. I'm sliding on here, but uh, uh, co everything's covered in ice, but I wanted to take you to some live videos. Now, we have done these videos before. Um, we, uh, If you go to our YouTube channel, click on the playlist Abraham Lincoln, you'll see the edited versions that were filmed exactly a year ago today. Um, but I wanted to take you to the live shots here because it's the uh, 212th on the 12th. I hear a birthday of Abraham Lincoln, and I'm going to be taking you to four different, maybe five if we're lucky, uh, locations that are relevant to President Abraham Lincoln today. And uh, the, the, what, where I'm at right now, I'm in modern day Washington County, and I'm in front of the home of his uncle, Mordecai Lincoln. Mordecai Lincoln, what a man he was. So the story about Abraham Lincoln and uh, the story of Abraham Lincoln in Kentucky begins actually in Virginia. Um, Captain Abraham Lincoln, the grandfather of Abraham. Blaine's wants to be in your video. I don't know what that is right there, but uh, um, the Captain Abraham Lincoln was in the Revolutionary War. He uh, got a land grant in Kentucky, and in 1782, he moved the family through the Cumberland Gap, and they settled in modern-day Casey County. Two years later, they moved to uh, outside of modern-day Louisville, Kentucky, and uh, his... his Abraham, Captain Abraham Lincoln, his sons Mordecai, Josiah, and Thomas were all out there working in the fields. When uh, hey Blaine, what's I see you there, buddy? What's going on? Um, working out in the fields. When all of a sudden, from the tree line, there was a rifle crack and dropped dead Abraham Lincoln, the, the grandfather of President Abraham Lincoln. Um, Thomas the, was the youngest. Um, he rushed to his father, uh, his father's side, and a uh, Native American burst out of the tree line. Lori says, "Hey, I see, I see you there, Lori." Native American burst out of the tree line, and uh, he uh, was about to kill Thomas. Some say he grabbed a hold of him. Some say he was about to tomahawk him, and uh, Mordecai dropped him. Mordecai dropped him dead with one shot. They say one shot, one kill, never miss, never will. Mordecai must have been a Marine. I don't know. But uh, the thing about that story is, is that had Mordecai not killed that Native American that was about to kill Thomas, Thomas is the father of Abraham Lincoln. We would have no President Abraham Lincoln. So uh, that's a pretty cool story right there. Um, the boy's mother then moved them here to uh, Washington County. It's a little bit safer in this area, a lot more population here in central Kentucky. Uh, Charles says, Monica Mud Quarry here. Um, hi, yes, I couldn't, I, oh yeah, Monica Mud Quarry here. I see you there, sorry, ma'am. Um, they, uh, they moved back to here to central Kentucky. Now under Virginia law, Mordecai being the oldest inherited all of his father's land. So Thomas Lincoln had to make his own way. He became a carpenter and uh, became a very accomplished carpenter and eventually meets up with a gal named Nancy Hanks that uh, lives exactly 0.8 miles down the road that way. And that's where we're going next, it's Nancy's house. But uh, of course they get married and things. But what's neat about this is, is Mordecai lived in this house and I'm gonna take you around it here. Mordecai, you can probably hear the crunching of the ice. You hear that? That's uh, nothing but solid ice right there. So, um, Mordecai lived here from 1796-ish, 1797 to 1811. That's 225 years ago. The house back there is like 225 years old. Isn't that awesome? And it is the oldest house in Kentucky 
uh, that's still standing that is affiliated with the, uh, the Lincoln family. Um, it was also uh, Mordecai's, uh, or Mordecai was also uh, Abraham Lincoln's favorite, uh, favorite, favorite uncle. Don't miss that cold, Larry said. Yeah, it's about, uh, I checked it right before I got out of here, it's about 24 degrees, wind's blowing a little bit, but you can see the sign is right here. I've got some still photos I'll put on here later, but it's completely frozen solid. But I wanna take you up a little bit closer here to the, uh, the house. I know they have several different types of meetings and things that they do inside here, but I uh, um, guess I should have told the story while I was walking around there. Karen says, thank you for your videos. Yeah, I appreciate that. I would love to do them. Um, actually nuts to be out here in this cold weather, but uh, my wife said, are you, are you seriously going to do that? I was like, absolutely, it's Abe's birthday. Uh, you can see the placard right there. It says the Mordecai Lincoln House, um, circa 1797. Um, has been placed under the National uh, Register of Historic Places. So that's pretty cool. Um, traditional uh, clapboard siding here. I'll take you around. It does have, uh, you can see the, the, the old timey gutters that are on. I'm sure that's not the type of gutters they had. Um, we're about 0.8 miles from the Lincoln Homestead State Park where there's a lot of cool places. So that video that I'm gonna be at here in a few minutes uh, be a little bit neater, a little bit more things to see there, but uh, I just wanted you to see this spot here. That we've got some bathrooms back here in the back. It's a nice conference center. Um, has some picnic tables over here. A lot of times in our edited versions, you don't get to see the uh, the, the land, the layout of the land um, that's back here. You can see the back of the house. And I've taken some pictures that I'll post on there, but uh, um, so. We'll head over there. I thought that uh, you might like to see the uh, house of Lincoln's, or Abraham Lincoln's favorite uncle, Mordecai Lincoln. And if he wasn't such a good marksman, we wouldn't have had a president, Abraham Lincoln. And later on today, I'm gonna tell you another story about uh, a situation where Abraham Lincoln may not have survived again in his childhood there out on Knob Creek. So I'm gonna take you there. Um, like I said, if you wanna see the edited versions, they are on our YouTube channel from last year. I'm out of breath. That's hard walking through that stuff right there and talking and stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, 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 I hear that ice crunching. I'm gonna see if I can get you a real good shot of what that looks like for those of you that are not here in the bluegrass. But uh, let's see if I can get a handful of this ice. That's, uh, that's, that's the grass <laughs> that we're walking on there. So it's really neat stuff. Um, I didn't want the uh, ice to uh, keep us from here. So bear with me. I'm headed right now to the, uh, um, Homestead State Park, where uh, uh, Nancy Hanks, his mother, lived. There's a lot of cool things to see there. So uh, be there in a few minutes and catch it over there. And hey, guys, uh, if you like what you're seeing on here, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we post all these videos, including this one. Um, these videos will be on there. You'll be able to see them all the time. So I'll sign off for now. Look for us here in about 15, 20 minutes. And hey, remember, family tree nuts. Let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree. And we're live. What's up, guys? What's up? Happy birthday, Abraham Lincoln. Happy 212th birthday, Abraham Lincoln. Uh, hey, everybody, this is Russ from Family Tree Nuts, and I'm in Washington County, Kentucky at the Lincoln Homestead State Park. Um, if you just saw our video from a minute ago, we were at Mordecai Lincoln, the uncle of uh, Abraham Lincoln, and that's where the story starts for the Lincolns here in Kentucky. But uh, now we're at the uh, home site of uh, uh, Nancy Hanks, his mother, and uh, it's a replica cabin of Thomas Lincoln's house. So we're going to take a look around here and uh, see what you got. As you can see, if you didn't catch our first video, we've had quite the ice storm here in uh, the bluegrass region. That's not, whoop, we're doing it again. When you tilt that thing, it goes down there and then it gives you a bad uh, thumbnail for that. But uh, you can see that back there, it's nothing but ice there. But uh, we've got our sign here. No, you can't see that there. I've got some still photos that I've taken that I'll post on here later on. But, uh, you know, the story is, is that uh, Captain Abraham Lincoln, grandfather of uh, President Abraham Lincoln, was uh, uh, in the Revolutionary War. He got a land grant and in 1782 came to through the Cumberland Gap with his family and uh, settled first in Casey County for a couple of years. 1784, they move outside of modern day Louisville. And then in 1786, uh, Captain Abraham Lincoln and his three sons, Mordecai, Josiah, and uh, Thomas were out in the fields and uh, working when a shot rang out, dropped Abraham Lincoln, 
Um, Thomas Lincoln was only about eight years old, rushed to his father's side, a Native American almost killed him. Mordecai shot him dead where he stood. And that is the, uh, uh, the, the, the Thomas was the father of Abraham Lincoln. Um, so if had he missed, then we probably wouldn't have an Abraham Lincoln. Bev is there in Canada. She says so interesting. Yeah, we got kind of your weather here. Maybe not quite. It's only 25 here. It's not negative 25 like you got up there in, in uh, Canada right now and uh, in Manitoba. But uh, anyway, um, Bersheba Lincoln brings, his, brings the family back to this area right here in Washington County uh, where they live. Mordecai was pretty successful. Um, he, under Virginia law, he inherited all, he inherited all of his uh, father's estate. And, uh, but he, he settled around here. He became a carpenter, a very renowned carpenter and cabinet maker. Uh, we found lots of different things around Kentucky that he's actually had his hands in and worked on here, which was really cool. Now, Nancy Hanks, the mother of Lincoln, um, she was living in Virginia. Uh, Bev says it's negative 35 Celsius today. We don't know what Celsius is. What is that, like negative 55? Is that negative 10? We don't know how to do that math down here in the, uh, down here in the uh, United States. <laughs> but, uh, um, the uh, Nancy's father dies and her and her mother move here to the bluegrass region at the home of Nancy's mother's sister, uh, the aunt, uh, um, Miss Rebecca Shipley, Rebecca Shipley Francis, correct me if I'm not right there, but uh, they move in with her, with her uh, aunt and uncle and she lives here. And that's the house right there that you can see that uh, Nancy was living in. She was a seamstress. And uh, her and Thomas met each other. Um, they had some family connections and things. But uh, I'm going to walk you up a little closer to this cabin without trying to break my, my tailbone here. Everything is completely uh, slippery. But uh, I'm going to get you a little closer to the, ca the cabin right here, maybe a little farther. But the uh, reason I wanted you to see this is right here is where Thomas proposed to Nancy inside there. I uh, can't take you in there, obviously, just like everything else with Roni, we can't get inside the, uh, the buildings. But uh, inside there, right at the mantel, is where uh, Thomas uh, proposed to Nancy. Uh, the couple were married and uh, moved to a nearby cabin. Um, and uh, they, lit, they moved to E-Town for a, around E-Town for a year. She says that's negative 41, negative 31 Fahrenheit. That's pretty, that's pretty cold. Um, Thomas worked as a... Uh, uh, worked on riverboats for a year and then they moved to Sinking Springs Farm where Abraham Lincoln was born just uh, two years after that. Uh, Sandy says here in Litchfield, Kentucky Historical Society headquarters, the Jack Thomas house, they have a door that was made by, I can't see all that on the live, I'm sorry there, I'll have to check it out. Um, the uh, They moved to Sinking Springs Farm, lived there for a couple of years, then they had a dispute, had to go rent a place out and uh, on Knob Creek, and that's where we're going next. We're going to uh, Sinking Springs, and then we're gonna go to Knob Creek. But I wanted to take you here first where kind of it began. You can see behind me, and I know it's backwards because we're on Facebook Live. You see, that's the Nancy Hanks Memorial. Um, I'm gonna take you inside here and show you a couple of more things. Um, the uh, It's very icy. I feel like I'm literally walking on, on an ice rink. There's a little bit of stone sticking out there, but they're covered in ice too. You can't see it right now, unfortunately, but there's a real nice placard there that says, uh, it's a quote from Abe that says, all that I am, I owe, to, I, oh, don't want to botch this one up. All that I am, I owe to my angel mother. And I think that's an awesome quote right there. You've seen that on coffee mugs, uh, Mother's Day cards and things like that. She actually died when he was only nine years old. Um, after, when Abe was, I think, only seven or eight, they moved to uh, Indiana. Um, we're gonna get into that story here in a minute. She said a door made by Thomas Lincoln. That's pretty cool. We'll have to go check that out, uh, Sandy. Um, his mother died, and uh, so she was very uh, near to his heart. Um, but uh, he died of milk sickness um, up there. And uh, I'm gonna walk you up here to the remainder of the stuff here. Now, if you, this, this video right here is just a live video. Normally we shoot an edited version and then we shoot a live version. We already have the edited version that we filmed exactly a year ago, last year on Abe's birthday. So if you go on our YouTube channel, uh, you click on the playlist link and you'll be able to see these videos that uh, we're doing here, basically recreating. But I wanted to come here because it's his 212th on the 12th and we're covered in ice, so why not, right? But uh, check those out. Um, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right there and see all our videos all the time. We've got so much stuff going on. 
but uh, I'm walking you up here because there's a couple things I would like you to see. I'm trying to hustle. Got a lot of clothes on too. Had to take a layer off, I was sweating. But uh, um, it, the, the memorial is here. Like I said, I got some photos to post for you guys later so you can see them. They're just completely covered in ice. But uh, that's talking about the Nancy Hanks Memorial that, uh, that was put over here. Um, of course, we've got the, uh, the Berry Cabin historic marker right there as well tells the story about the proposal and about the Lincolns how they moved west went through that Cumberland Gap like about 300,000 of us and about there's about 50 million or so of us are descended from people that went through the gap and then lastly you can see that one really good the Lincoln cabinet covered up with uh, ice and snow there don't want to bust that off don't want to pour water on it don't want to damage it on there but uh, the building that's behind me let me spin around here without breaking my neck that's actually a gift shop and a museum. Neat little place. I've been in there a few times. But uh, in this concrete, it's definitely frozen ice and it's sloped. Well, we've got a few more historic markers here. Story talking about Thomas and Nancy. And then, of course, uh, the marriage over there. Now, that's the uh, fifth place that we're going to try to get to if we get enough daylight. Traveling is not the best, as you can guess right now. Everything's pretty much covered in ice uh, just off the road. but. I'm going to try to get you their marriage cabin fifth if I can get you there. But the, the cabin right there behind me, you can't see the sign, but it's a replica cabin of the one at Beersheba, Lincoln, the, uh, whoa, <laughs> the, the grandma, I'm totally sliding. The grandmother of uh, Abraham Lincoln lived in. Thomas lived there to his early 20s until he got married. And I'm going to take you to one more quick spot if I don't kill myself on this ice. I better get in the grass. <laughs> literally was sliding down that hill right there there's a golf course and a frisbee golf course that's here too and right down there i'll post some good pictures uh but right down there there's a uh, it's a small replica covered uh, uh bridge and a nice uh, cabin down there as well like i said i've got some photos to post of that on there for you but i want to tell you this cool spot because uh hey man this is where love blossomed and the uh, young baby abe was born 212 years ago today I wonder if it was a day like today, covered in ice. But uh, anyway, happy birthday, Abe. We're off to uh, Sinking Springs Farm now, and that'll take me a good hour or so to get over there, over there near Hodgkinsville. Um, get a spot there. I'm not even positive that they're going to be open. I'm, if not, I'm going to try to, uh, Don said, slip and sliding away. Yeah, man. Um, I'm going to try to go in there. I don't know if they're open. If they're not open, I'm going to try to slide and kind of hike in there. I know where I'm going back in there. Um, to give you some shots of that. Um, if you want to see that, like I said, go to our YouTube channel and uh, click on the playlist for Lincoln. You know, the video is already there for that. We're inside there, show you the cabin. I'm pretty sure that we're probably not going to be able to get and see the cabin, but we're going to see. So anyway, I'll shut up for now. We'll head out of here, head down to the next spot, check in with us over there. Happy birthday, Abraham Lincoln, one of the greatest Americans of all time, greatest human beings of all time. I don't care what anybody says. Anyway, we'll take off now and look for us here in about an hour and a half or so. And remember, family tree nuts, let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree. And we're live, we're live. What's going on, guys? Uh, happy birthday, Abe Lincoln. This is our third video. Like I said, we're out here in uh, just south of Hodgkinsville, LaRue County, Kentucky, and we're in front of the uh, Abraham Lincoln National Historic Park, uh, birthplace National Historic Park. This is where he was born at, and check it out. I got some bad news. You're gonna have to hear this story with me standing right here with not some beautiful scenery because they are closed and don't think that i did not uh, walk the uh i don't know third of a mile in there and uh, try to sneak in there and get it going but actually got caught and uh, caught by the rangers and they sent me out of here and they were not nice at all actually i mean i mean at all <laughs> kind of thing so uh anyway uh there's been a couple of other people that have tried to come in here i called ahead of time too i thought they might be closed and uh all you get is voicemail i guess that's government for you there right Oh, you get his voicemail. There's people that drove in here. One people were passing through, uh, through uh, coming from Texas to New York. Uh, another couple were here from Springfield, Illinois, where Lincoln, you know, of course, lived that there and uh, came specifically for this. Nobody answered the phone. Anyway, that's not the story. So if you want to see the inside of this video or the inside of uh, Lincoln, go to our YouTube channel, click on the playlist, Abe Lincoln, you'll get to see it there. We've got an edited version we did a year ago today and you'll get to see the awesome sights that are there. But while we're here, I'll give you some real fast tidbits about, uh, about this place here at Sinkin' Springs. 
Um, in December 1808, uh, Nancy and Thomas uh, purchased 300 acres for 200 bucks. 300 acres for 200 bucks. Uh, you can see how that's pretty good, uh, pretty good price of land there. But of course, that's uh, 213 uh, years ago. And a few months later, when they moved here, um, and February the 12th of 1809, Abraham Lincoln was born. Big baby boy, I'm sure. I wonder how big he was. Anybody know? We know he's a tall man. I wonder how big of a baby that he was. Um, a couple years later, in 1801, they got into a land dispute over who owned the land, Thomas, his dad, or some other people. So the family had to relocate, and they relocated about 10 miles from here on Knob Creek Farm, and they rented some acreage there for, for five years for the land dispute to be settled. And that's where we're headed next, over to Knob Creek. Great sites over there. I drove past it. We're going to be able to go in there. Um, yeah, and uh, so... Lincoln only lived at this spot right here for about two and a half years, and he doesn't have any recollections of it, but he's got lots of recollections of Knob Creek, which is cool when we get over there. Um, his dad was a farmer and a, and a carpenter, of course, and uh, eventually, in, in 1916, the land dispute was settled, but it was not in Thomas's favor, so the family had to re family relocated to Indiana. There's a lot of uh, speculation as to why, but that was a very common migration pattern of people that came through. Uh, Revolutionary War veterans settled in the Kentucky area, and then a generation or so later, they go on further west, Indiana, Illinois, Missouri, all the way to Oregon, Texas, things like that, if you follow the migrations of our ancestors. So that was a very common thing. Um, inside here, Unfortunately, we're not be able to go in there, but you can see some of this on our edited version. There's a nice visitor center here in a small museum. One thing that's really cool is they had the Lincoln Family Bible on display, which is awesome. Can't touch it, obviously. It's in a case. And uh, um, this area of Sinking Springs had been on the map for a long time. That's why they know this is exactly where he was born. Um, and and uh, there's an inside. Unfortunately, you can't see. You can Google it and look it up, or you can check out our video on it. But there's a monument there, his memorial. And inside that there is, there a ca is a cabin. Now, the legend is, is that is the, the, the cabin that Abraham Lincoln was born in. Um, modern day people think that's it's not the right one. Modern day experts think it's not the right cabin, it's just a cabin. I mean, you gotta think about it. Abraham Lincoln really wasn't famous for till 50 years after he was born. So where his birth cabin was would have been just another cabin and Thomas and Nancy Lincoln would have been kind of just regular people. So. The preservation of that cabin, we're not exactly sure. But uh, on his 100th birthday, they laid the cornerstone here. And uh, uh, President Theodore Roosevelt was here for that celebration. And then a couple years later, 1911, President Taft was here to do the dedication of the uh, ceremony. Um, the cabin that's inside was actually purchased by a businessman in the late 1890s. He traveled it all over the daggone country uh, and marketed it as the uh, Lincoln birth cabin. So that was pretty cool. Uh, but uh, anyway, it, it definitely gives you an idea of what that cabin looks like. Unfortunately, right down there, you see the stop sign? Right behind the stop sign is the beginning of the steps to uh, go up to the monument there. You can also check out the springs that are there. Um, they're usually right off, right on the side right there. It's a real beautiful uh, place there, and it's, it's uh, uh, good water and things. So anyway, we'll sign off for now. There's not a whole lot to see, but the sign... You see the main road down there, but uh, we're just about a mile and a half or so south of town. But uh, we're going ahead to Knob Creek now. Knob Creek, that's that's not the whiskey, but uh, we're going to go check out Knob Creek. There's a lot of stuff to see there about stuff that Lincoln remembers as a boy and his formative years right there. But uh, we'll sign off for now. Look for that next video here in about 30 minutes or so. But uh, hey, we're at the uh, birthplace of Abraham Lincoln. Sorry we couldn't take you there. I probably could have got you a quick video, but you wouldn't have got the fourth because I would have been in jail. I'll leave that alone. But anyway, we'll sign off for now. Happy birthday, Abraham Lincoln. And uh, remember, family tree nuts, let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree. What's up, guys? Hey, everybody, we're live again. Not sure how the signal's gonna hold up here. The signal's really spotty. So um, if this were to cut out, um, we're gonna be compiling these videos anyway. I'll shoot this non-live, but uh, we'll add this to the video that you'll be able to see it later. But here I am at the uh, Knob Creek farm here of uh, Abraham Lincoln, the boyhood home of Abraham Lincoln. Uh, when I say Knob Creek, some of you are thinking of the bourbon. That's not what this is. But uh, anyway, what did it take you to spot in? Like, like the boy, uh, birthplace, it's closed. 
The Dagon thing's closed, it's under construction. You can see the, uh, the buildings back there and all the construction uh, that's in there, so uh, we won't go inside. Um, you can see our uh, edited ver version that we did exactly a year ago today on our YouTube page, our YouTube channel. Go on there and uh, click on link and on playlist and you'll see the video that's from here to see a lot more information. But I wanted to take you here and I'm going to take you down to the creek and things too. Um, like I say, this is the boyhood home uh, of Abe. You know that his parent, he was born about 10 miles uh, away from here, about a couple of miles south of uh, Hodgkinsville. And uh, at Seekin Springs Farm, his parents bought uh, 300 acres for 200 bucks. But uh, I think in 1808, 1808, December of 1808, a couple, couple months later, February 9th, 1908, 19, 1808, Abraham Lincoln was born. And uh, uh, on 212 years ago today, I wonder if it was like that today. We see the ice is all over the place. You can probably hear the crunching. Everything's closed, they're covered in ice. I'm crazy to be out here, but it's his birthday and Lincoln is one of my favorite people, so I wanted to bring you to these spots. Um, his dad got, uh, well, here's the sign. You see that it's opening again in fall of 2021. I know it's backwards, Facebook Live. When you check out, check it, the other version out, you're gonna see that in, in regular. But uh, this is completely ice, so I'm gonna tip you toe across here. Um, but. Uh, because of the land dispute, his family moved here to Knob Creek, and uh, they, they lived here for five years. They just rented a house. They didn't own it. They were waiting for the land dispute to uh, to uh, to be settled. And but it's here is where Abe, Abe uh, lived his formative years. Uh, he was about eight years old or so when he left. So he lived from about two and a half to eight. And it's where he learned to uh, talk and and uh, where he learned to uh, 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 read and things like that. Him and his sister, Sarah, walked two miles to school and I'm sure it was uphill both ways. Uh, we are at the bottom of a valley here, but uh, him and Sarah walked uh, to school both ways uh, to uphill for two miles. And uh, it's here, him, him and his, his sister, Sarah, planted a garden and uh, she planted corn every other row. He, he planted pumpkin seeds every other row. The next morning, come a gully washer washed their garden away, uh, horrible thing. But uh, so you can see there's a cabin. It's a, it's a, uh, it, it, it's not an original cabin, but it's a, a, a replica cabin that's right there too. Can't go inside there. I've, I've got a picture there that I'll put on there for you. And like I can say, you can definitely see it. We're right in front of it in our uh, version that we did last year. But uh, oh, Lincoln, uh, it, this road right here, um, Lincoln, one of his first memories um, that uh, Lincoln had was watching troops come home from the War of 1812. Think about that. That had been about 1814. Troops were coming back right on this road right here. So Lincoln would have been just a small child. It's also, uh, you're right, Kentucky History Podcast says history stops for nothing. That's right. We're making history right here kind of thing. But uh, so he saw troops coming back from the War of 1812. He also remembers seeing slaves uh, being brought down this road. It's the first time of his recollection of seeing slaves. And uh, they came down the old, uh, the, uh, the old Green River Turnpike that uh, the old Cumberland Road was in between Bardstown and Nashville, right down this road right here. So you're seeing some things that were Abraham Lincoln's first memories right here in this area. Um, I'm gonna tell you a story when we get back down here to the creek right here, uh, but, uh, you know, they, they lived here for five years. Eventually, Thomas and uh, Nancy lost their land uh, dispute there at the Sink and Springs Farm, and they moved to Indiana. Um, Indiana is, uh, a lot of times, there's a lot of stories there that, you know, the Lincolns hated slavery and they wanted to move to the north. But it was a very common thing for our ancestors that first came into Kentucky through the Cumberland Gap. They settled here for about a generation or so. Or so. Uh, people got Revolutionary War land grants. And then about a generation later, a lot of the families moved on to Indiana, Illinois, into Missouri, uh, Texas, on the Oregon Trail, all, all the way out there. But it's uh, very common for them to move locations like that. Um, <clears throat> but uh, this is where he uh, had his first formative years. Um, Abraham Lincoln always said that Kentucky was near and dear to his heart. <laughs> Don said, glad you're not incarcerated. Yeah, the guy, the, the, the park raiders were not friendly, <laughs> but uh, you know, take the high road. But uh, wanted to bring that to you, but at least we've got some stuff to show you. But walking down here to uh, Knob Creek, because there's a neat story that a lot of people probably don't know about. And uh, once again, this is the actual Knob Creek. 
not the bourbon that uh, most of you people are thinking about. Uh, although tonight is Abraham Lincoln's birthday and I'm sure some folks will be uh, participating in that. So anyway, here we are. The actual Knob Creek. Um, really neat story. One day Abraham Lincoln was a little boy. He was up here skipping, jumping on rocks, jumping on uh, logs with one of his buddies. Uh, a, a fellow by the name of uh, Austin Gallagher, and he slipped. The water was up, it was a lot different uh, back then, I'm sure. The water was up and Abe was washed away. Abe was about to drown and uh, Austin ran ahead of him and uh, stuck out a stick and miraculously saved him in the water right there. So that's a neat story. That's the second story today we have of, if somebody didn't do something, we would have never had Abraham Lincoln. So. I thought that was a pretty neat story uh, right there for sure. Um, you know, this area, I think they rented uh, about 30 acres. They didn't come from a whole lot right here. And uh, that's one reason they became quite sour to move out of here. But uh, these rocks are really slippery here. I've survived today. And I think because of our uh, ordeal at the last place, I'm gonna have enough time. I, may, I know it's gonna be closed, but I'm gonna take you to Harrodsburg, which is a good hour hour 15 from here and uh, i'm gonna run over there and it'll be closed you won't be able to see inside but i want to show you the area there at fort herod where uh, uh his marriage cabin is so uh we'll check that out um i'm sure i'm sure that the, the gates will be closed and we, we uh so if you don't see that uh you don't be surprised but i guess i'm walking where i'm not supposed to walk but you can see it's tore up completely back there and uh, I don't want to get on camera over there being somewhere I'm not supposed to be. But I wanted to take you over to that cabin, but um, Abe remembers his brother Thomas being born and dying here. Uh, sorry, this is kind of sporadic. I'm a little bit off canter by everything being closed. But uh, anyway, wanted to take you to these cool spots. Right here we are at the Knob Creek Farm where Abraham Lincoln spent his formative years, his very first memories. Um, there is a, uh, that building behind there was a, uh, it built in the 1920s, kind of as a tourist attraction, was a restaurant and a gas station and things, but uh, it's been totally redone. So I'm not sure exactly what they've got going on, but we'll have to check it out. Um, but anyway, I guess I'll sign up for now. I'm gonna beat feet over there to Harrisburg, see if I can't get you to the building where the marriage temple is, where Thomas and Nancy Hanks got married and uh, formed the union that we have Abraham Lincoln. So I'll sign off for now, guys. Uh, stay warm, I said it's really freezing. It's only like, what is, what is it, three o'clock? And it's almost dark out here kind of thing, but uh, supposedly there's some more weather coming in. But I really wanted to take you to this because Abraham Lincoln is the man, right? And uh, if you don't agree, I don't know what else to say. But uh, anyway, I'll sign off now. Happy birthday, Abe Lincoln. And remember, family tree nuts, let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree. And we're live, we're live. What's going on? Happy birthday, Abraham Lincoln. We are at our fifth and final location of uh, our journey here of uh, areas that are relevant to the uh, birth of uh, President Abraham Lincoln. It's his 212th birthday today. Um, I'm actually in Harrodsburg, Kentucky, and, and this is a little confusing, but technically this should be video number three of five, but uh, due to geography, we gotta backtrack and things. And this is a place that we have actually never done a video before. Uh, we haven't done a video here at the uh, Marriage Temple, and of course, doors locked and it's closed. We'll be back here very, very soon because there's lots of videos and lots of things that I wanna show you here before we take off. But uh, um, you see that, uh, well, you see you've got the historic markers that are right here. I've got some photos and things that I'll be able to show you, but uh, it's a church. Abraham Lincoln's parents, uh, Thomas and Nancy, thank you for, uh, for all you do, it's extremely interesting. Thank you, ma'am, yes, ma'am, Ruby. And uh, out here in the Dagon, it's 25 degrees or something, and everything's covered in ice, covered in ice. But you see that church right there? That's not where Abraham Lincoln's parents were married. Inside that church, unfortunately, you're gonna to have to go online, Google it, look at images. But uh, yeah, Blaine, we made it, buddy. Um, it's actually open, waiting on somebody to kick me out of here. But uh, we're right in the middle of town if you can hear all the car noise and stuff like that. But uh, the Lincolns were married in their cabin, in their home. And inside there is the cabin or a 
very close replica of the cabin. There's a lot of uh, interesting stories that goes with that. Uh, um, but you know the story about Abraham Lincoln? We've, we've talked about it earlier in the video. His family came in in uh, 1782. His dad, his dad was killed by the Indians. His brother Mordecai saved it. Say, or no, I'm sorry, his grandfather was killed by the, the Native Americans. His uh, father, Thomas, was almost killed by them and saved by Mordecai. He lived there in the Casey County area where Nancy Hanks lived with her family. And uh, her fa father had passed away and her and her mother moved uh, from Virginia to Kentucky to live with uh, uh, her mother's sister there, the Berries, the uh, Rebecca Shipley Francis, no, Rebecca Shipley Berry, uh, who's uh, husband was Francis Berry. But anyway, they met there at that cabin and of course they fell in love and uh, they, they uh, forgot when they were married. There it is, June 12th, 1806. The couple was married and it's supposedly inside that cabin. Now, this cabin was moved here to Harrodsburg from the Springfield area. Where as the crow flies, I don't know, about 40 miles, but it takes about an hour or so to get here, maybe 45 minutes. But the cabin was moved here due to the historic location of here because here we are at the, the first settlement in the west not Boonesboro folks it's Fort Herod you see behind me is the replica fort and I'm going to take you up there in just a second a little off story there but I'm going to take you up there but uh they moved the marriage cabin inside here now when they were married in 1808 or 1806 nobody knew heard of Abraham Lincoln and nobody really heard about him for another 50 years so we're not exactly sure if it's the right cabin or not uh, we know that it was uh, disassembled uh, in, uh, let's see here, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, they took the cabin down after about 129 years in its area and uh, was rebuilt here in 1913. Um, 18, and, and 18 years later, they built the church around it. Now, inside the cabin, inside there is a wooden podium that was designed so that uh, you could get married there. Uh, they thought that maybe p couples would like to get married that uh, for good luck charm of having a kid like Abraham Lincoln. So a uh, little bit interesting thing there. I guess you could probably still get married there if you'd like. And there's bronze plaques and stuff in there about Thomas and Abraham and the family and things like that. I'm sorry that I can't take you in there like so many other things, but I can guarantee I'll be back here. This is a place that I've somewhat avoided, sem semi close to where I live, but uh, a place that I've avoided because there's so much here. There's so much here right here in this little park. But, uh, um, <clears throat> so anyway, inside there is the cabin. Like I said, you can Google it and look inside. Um, I'm gonna take you up here. This, this actually kind of concludes our Abraham Lincoln part of the story. Um, I would sign off, but there's a couple of cool things that I wanna show you here that's right here at Fort Herod State Park. Uh, and while we walk, if you guys wanna chime in with some stuff that, uh, what's your favorite thing to do with Abraham Lincoln? If you can hear that crunching, there's ice, and uh, I actually got to walk on the grass a whole lot. Also at this location is a museum. We've got the uh, museum there. It's got a ton of Civil War artifacts and things. But uh, I, want, I want to take you over here and show you this tree. Why are you showing me a tree? You'll see. Some of you folks that know about this tree know I'm why I'm getting ready to take you over here. But uh, all righty, I'm a hustler. All right, getting ready to turn it down. Circa late 18th century, it's late 1700s. Orange Osage tree, check this thing out, man. I know uh, every time I've ever come over here, there's all kinds of kids climbing all over it. Nobody's here today though, but uh, it's a massive, massive tree. You see there, so this tree was a sapling or a brand new tree. Yeah, Blaine, that's right, the Osage orange. This tree was here uh, when the fort was here. Um, the replica fort is right up here. The original fort was actually in the parking lot over there on top of the hill. But uh, I'm gonna take you up there and show you some of that stuff. But I wanted to swing by this cool tree that was here. Um, we'll do a story on that one one time too. But the next place I wanna take you to is kind of uh, kind of hallowed. Um, I don't think, uh, this. like I said, these videos are dedicated to uh, President Abraham Lincoln, but know him like I think I do. I don't think he'd mind us taking you and showing you this on his birthday. There's a couple of things I want to show you, but uh, what's up, Heather? I see you there. Um, what, what's your favorite thing about Abraham Lincoln? This is his birthday, you know? Uh, is anybody doing anything? It's Friday night. Are you going to do anything for Abe? Uh, you know, are you going to uh, eat, any, eat any certain foods or 
or have you just daggone forgot him? But uh, so, of course, back here we've got a, you know the monument of the uh, 32 men that came here and erected the original fort in 1774. You heard that right, 1774 in June. And of course they left for the winter, but uh, they were here in 74. Boonesboro didn't start until 75. Hey, how you doing? Boonesboro wasn't there until uh, April of 75. So this particular spot ends up being the original, there's some folks coming to visit. <coughs> being the original uh, white settlement west of the uh, Allegheny Mountains into the Kentucky wilderness. I'm taking you over here, because it's really cool. I actually took some photos of this. It's a Pioneer Cemetery, completely frozen over. I'm gonna take you in here a second. And if you ever come here, it's definitely a pretty neat place to come, but uh, gotta be careful. These daggone stones are completely covered in ice. But I know it's backwards there, but we talk about, it's the Pioneer Graveyard. There's over uh, 480 graves. There are some placards in here of some things, but most of it's just stones. I know there's some McAfee's that are buried here and some of our earliest pioneers, but uh, look at that one. It's backwards, I know. The first white child buried in Kentucky is entombed in this spot. Wow, unbelievable. And I'll take you over here and show you a couple more of these placards. We'll do a good edited video here very, very soon when there's not ice all over the ground so you can get some really good shots of this. But uh, um, 1823 TJ Head, this is said to be the grave of Thomas Jefferson Head, son of Jesse Head, the pioneer preacher who united the parents of Abraham Lincoln in 1806. I forgot to tell you that a minute ago that uh, Jesse Head, the famous uh, minister, was the uh, person that married the Lincolns. Over here, I know it's backwards, folks, but we got Anne McGinney, the noted pioneer woman, Anne McGinney, lies buried here. She brought the first spinning wheel to Kentucky. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And uh, But it's just a really neat spot, especially with the uh, the ice all over the place. Um, definitely, I don't think I've ever been in a cemetery when there's ice all over the place. Hey, Jeff, what's up, buddy? Appreciate you letting us borrow the missus there to do awesome things for Family Tree Nuts. Um, but uh, anyway, I, wanted, I just wanted to show you this. Uh, let's see. Roe says when she lived in Maryland, shook her kids to D.C., they saw Ford's Theater and a house where Abe died. Yeah, absolutely. That's uh, it's definitely a, a, a cool experience. You can walk about the, the theater there and you can get within uh, just a, a few feet of where Lincoln sat, uh, where he was uh, assassinated. But uh, there's some of the bushes that are buried there. Some of you know about the bush settlement. I'm gonna take you just to get a peek. Should have taken you over here a second. Sorry, it's being so long. I got a couple more things I wanna show you. Thanks for hanging with us. But uh, it's, you know, you've got the beautiful rock walls that are here and then we got the monument uh, over there. That monument over there has the list of uh, all the Revolutionary War veterans there in Mercer County that are buried there and some other uh, military headstones that are there. And you can see behind me, there's the fort. It's obviously coast. Now, a lot of folks uh, get Fort Herod and Fort Boonesboro confused all the time. And to be quite honest, there's kind of a rivalry between the two. Um, I've had some, uh, j some folks that, uh, are too happy or not. <laughs> they don't like each other, I guess. So I'm not saying all of them, because don't, don't quote me on that, because I'm not part of either one of them. So don't let me in there, guys, you know, but uh, uh, some of the people like, ah, boom, gets way too much credit. You know, what about James Herod? What about all the others, uh, Benjamin Logan, that came through here and all that? I'm going very slow, folks. These uh, stairs are completely covered in ice. I don't know if you can see that right behind me there. And rails completely covered. I've got some cool photos to show you later. But I'm gonna take you over here and show you one more quick thing before we get out of here. And I ain't walking that way, but uh, I, I can't take the stairs because they're covered in ice. I gotta stay on this, the uh, on the grass. But um, you can see I'm walking in front of the fort. I know they do a, uh, a siege here every year. It's really cool. Uh, it's extremely well done. There's extremely knowledgeable people that come here to, uh, to work and uh, tell people about the fort. You know, they have blacksmiths, they have uh, folks running the spinning wheel and things. 
very eager, eager and helpful and educational for, for people here. Um, as does Boonesboro, of course. Uh, Boonesboro is about an hour drive from here in Madison County. We're in Mercer County in Herod, or, or Harrodsburg, that, uh, where Fort Herod was originally uh, built. I'm taking you up to the federal monument dedicated to, to pioneers of Kentucky. Um, this is uh, really cool. I, it's kind of like the stairs that are built uh, at Lincoln's uh, birthplace that you didn't get to see today, by the way. You can if you go to our YouTube channel, click on the playlist for Abraham Lincoln, and uh, you can see that, whoa, holy smokes. So I went across some wood, stones there that are covered in ice. But you can see the steps that are behind me, but I want to take you to this monument because it was dedicated in 17, thir or 18, 1932. Can't get my dates right today. It's really cool. The first permanent settlement of the West that it says. You know, of course, it's got some pioneers there. You can't see it, but there's writing and markings in a map here on the, uh, on the, on the, uh, on the floor here. It's covered in ice. So we'll be back soon to take, uh, do a video here. You can see some bigger shots of the fort right there. I tell you what, if you're ever passing through, it's a must see to come coming here. If you want some history stuff about your own ancestors and things of Kentucky. So like I said, I know this was about Abraham Lincoln. It was his birthday, but as you can tell, there's too many other historical things that are right here that we'd be amiss if we didn't at least bring that to you. Uh, Blaine said he's really enjoyed part five of this mini series on Abraham Lincoln. Thanks for making the effort on this cold and icy day. Yeah, in a normal situation, I still got an hour drive home, but uh, I'm gonna get these videos spliced together. We're not gonna edit these like we normally would shoot an edited version and a live version, but we're not gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna put them together so you could watch them all the way through at any time. And I'll put them on the YouTube channel and I'll put them in the playlist of Abraham Lincoln. So um, I keep saying that word subscribe. Um, when, you, when you like us on Facebook, you know, you see the videos today, but they're gone after that kind of, but if you go to the YouTube, you can always search and find them all right there at any time you want to. And we have so much stuff going on. Um, tomorrow, the video for uh, Daniel Boone's grave in Missouri. Wait a minute, he's buried in Frankfort, right? He's buried in Frankfort, Kentucky, isn't he? I don't know, is he? Well, we are at we did a video at his grave in Missouri, and then on Sunday, we had the video of Daniel Boone's grave in Kentucky. Wait a minute, I thought he's buried in Missouri. We'll let you decide that, and we'll show you some great uh, shots and a story about uh, both of those and all kinds of stuff is on its way. Hey, I think on Monday, the video of the, the, the origins of the happy birthday song uh, is coming out. It's actually my oldest daughter's birthday, so that's why we're posting that uh, on there, Rebecca's birthday. But uh, I'm sliding all over the place here. No joke, I'm not kidding. Um, anyway, I'll sign off for now. I uh, hope you guys go home and celebrate uh, President Abraham Lincoln, one of the greatest, not only presidents, not only Americans, but human beings on earth. If you study him as a man, you'll, uh, uh, you, as a person, you'll see uh, what I'm talking about. The only people that don't like him are, well, we'll, we'll talk, that's another story right there. Sue said, almost good as being there. Thanks for risking life and limb. Happy birthday, Abe. Yeah, that's true. Why ain't home yet? But uh, definitely a unique time. And uh, hey guys, I'll sign off for now. Happy birthday, Abraham Lincoln. And remember, family tree nuts. Let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree.